Hey everyone, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to tie the Shark Jawbone Paracord Keychain. Let's have a look at how to tie the Shark Jawbone Paracord Keychain Weave, and then we'll go over how to tie this keychain from start to finish. If you'd like to see how to tie other paracord keychains, then I recommend my video, Seven Easy Paracord Keychains. To tie the Shark Jawbone Paracord Weave, pass the left strand over the left center strand, and then through the center. From there, continue the weave by passing the right strand over the right center strand, overlapping the previous left strand, and through the center again. Then the right strand passes up through the loop made by the left strand, as shown here. From there, continue the pattern on the other side. Pass the right strand over the right center strand, and then through the center. And from there, continue the weave by passing the left strand over the left center strand overlapping the previous right strand and through the center. Then the left strand passes up through the loop made by the right strand, and then cinch the weave tight as you go. Continue to follow this simple weave all the way down to the end of your paracord keychain. You can see this is an easy way to tie a paracord keychain. Keep watching the rest of the video to see important steps for how to begin and finish your keychain so it turns out nice and tidy. Okay, now let's begin at the start so you can see all the details of creating this keychain. To begin, you'll need two lengths of paracord, each approximately 24 inches long, a key ring, a pair of scissors, and a lighter. Begin by melting your two lengths of paracord with your lighter, and then pressing the ends together. Be careful, the melted paracord will be hot and can burn your fingers. With the paracord joined together, attach your key ring by passing the middle of your paracord through the key ring, and then the ends of the paracord through the loop, as shown here. This is known as a lark's head knot. At this stage, I like to move the melted joint away from the center a little, so it's hidden by the paracord weaves later on. Now turn everything over in your hand and create a loop with the right side of paracord. The overall length of keychain should be about two to three inches long, or for me, about three finger widths. Pass the left strand over the right strand, then behind and through the right loop. Then cinch up this first knot. Now we can begin to tie the shark's jawbone paracord weave. Pass the left strand over the left center strand and then through the center. From there, continue the weave by passing the right strand over the right center strand, overlapping the previous left strand, and through the center. Then the right strand passes up through the loop made by the left strand, as shown here. From there, continue the pattern on the other side. Pass the right strand over the right center strand, and then through the center. And from there, continue the weave by passing the left strand over the left center strand, overlapping the previous right strand, and through the center. Then the left strand passes up through the loop made by the right strand. And then cinch the weave tight as you go. Continue to follow this simple weave all the way down to the end of your paracord keychain. Let me talk you through it again. Pass the left strand over the left center strand, and then through the center. From there, continue the weave by passing the right strand over the right center strand, overlapping the previous left strand, and then through the center. Then the right strand passes up through the loop made by the left strand, as shown here. And then cinch the weave tight as you go. From there, continue the pattern on the other side pass the right strand over the right center strand, and then through the center. And from there, continue the weave by passing the left strand over the left center strand, overlapping the previous right strand, and through the center. Then the left strand passes up through the loop made by the right strand, and then cinch the weave tight as you go. This paracord keychain is one of seven designs that I have included in my video, Seven Easy Paracord Keychains. So if you'd like to see how to tie other easy designs, then I recommend you check it out. I'll put a link in the description and also at the end of this video. For now, let's continue to tie the shark jawbone pattern, working our way to the end of the keychain. 
As you continue to tie the pattern, cinch and adjust your weaves as you go. I like to cinch them relatively tight and then adjust them at the end. When you reach the end of the keychain, you can pull the key ring tight and cinch back your weaves a little to make it nice and evenly tight throughout the length of the keychain. As you can see, with the shark jawbone pattern, when you're finished both tail ends of your paracord end up on the same side of your keychain, which is great for finishing. When you're finished adjusting the tension, all you need to do is trim the ends with your scissors and then melt the ends with your lighter. And finally, squish them flat. Now that you're finished, you should have something that looks like this, the shark jawbone paracord keychain. I hope you liked this video. Now here's a link to seven easy paracord keychains. I hope you check it out. And thanks for watching.